Listen. <coughs> This is how you make a woman fall in love. This is how you make her fall in love. First things first. You have to be on your purpose. You have to be on your purpose. She's going to respect you, and she's going to admire you, and she's going to crave you. You're going to be so focused on your purpose that any time she gets with you, she cherishes, right? These are tender moments that she values because she knows you have a life, you have things going on. That's first things first, bro. You have to have your own purpose going on. You have to have your own thing going on, okay? When she knows that you have all of that going on for you, and that you don't fuck around, you don't play games, you don't waste time, you don't chase women, but you chase your dreams. When she knows all of that, she's gonna be intrigued, bro. She's gonna literally be wondering, like, wow, how can I be a part of his life? How can I add value to his life? How can I make his life better, easier? Right? How can I make this man more successful? That's what she's thinking, bro, okay? If you're a person, if you're a dude, right, and you're not doing anything with yourself, you have no purpose, you got no drive, bro, she's not going to be there to fucking help you. She's not going to be the one to put you into a, a, a position or, or hire you, right? Or she, she's not going to help you build your business necessarily, right? Like, you got to start yourself, bro. You got to get yourself together. That's the first thing, bro. You have to have your shit together. First thing, bro. If you don't, she's not going to try to save you, bro. She's not trying to find a boy or some man or some poor excuse of a man who has nothing going on, has no stability, has nothing going for himself, right? And he's looking to her for solutions. Like, bro, she's not your life coach. You know what I'm saying? She's not your fucking, she's not, she's not job corp, bro. Like, you can't go to her and expect her to provide your life and then, Make your life the way it should be, bro. No, 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 no. You need to have your life together. You need to already know what you're doing, what you've got going on, where you're headed, right? And then figure out a way to incorporate her, how to make her become a part of it, right? That's what she's wondering. How can she become a, your, how can she become a part of your life? Right, but again, if you got nothing going on, why would she want to be a part of that, all right? When she finds out if you got so much going on, bro, she loves that. She, she's like, oh my God, he's not just some lazy motherfucker. He's not a bum. He does, he, he does have ambition, he has drive. He's going somewhere, right? When she sees that, and she, she can't help but get in her feelings, bro. Because that's hot to her, bro. That is attractive to her. A man with a purpose is attractive to her, okay? So that's the first way to get her to fall in love. That's the first step. First thing you gotta do is be on your purpose. Second thing, bro. Listen to her. And I, I mean literally listen to her, bro. Not just mm-hmm's and, and, and nodding your head, but not paying attention. Real mm-hmm's, nodding your head because you're listening, right? And then giving her concrete responses. Taking your time when you respond. Not just spitting out the fucking first thing that comes to your mind, but listening, actively listening to her, bro. Being engaged when you're listening to her. Looking deep into her eyes, bro when she's talking to you about her situation, her life, her goals, her dreams, whatever she's talking to you about, bro, listen, pay attention. The more little things you can pick up on, the little things you can remember, the little nuances, what she likes, what she doesn't like, her hobbies, like her fantasies, bro, like you gotta be tuned in because you're gonna be able to use all of that to keep her attracted to you. The more you know about her, the more you listen to her, the better you'll understand her, bro. And the better you understand her, the better you know how to act as a man, right? You'll know what she's expecting, what she wants, what she doesn't want, right? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay? And when she notices that you've been listening, she's gonna be like, wow, this man actually listens. This man actually cares. This man is actually connecting with me, right? And that's what women want, bro. They want a connection, 
Okay? They want a connection, bro. Okay? Simple as that, bro. Simple. The next thing you guys got to do, make her fall in love. You have to take her out and give her new experiences. New experiences, bro. And they should also be exciting. They should be rememberable, memorable, right? They should be experiences that she experiences as emotional too. Like give her an emotional experience, you know? Give her a shocking or surprising or adventurous or fun, right? To say the least, but give her a fun experience, bro. Make it fun for her. Don't give her boring experiences because then she's just gonna classify you and identify you as being boring and, and not a good time. But if you can give her fun experiences, right? Things that make her feel any type of way, even if it's scared, like, give her thrilling experiences, bro. Just make it fun. Make it exciting. Make it mysterious. Make it relaxing, you know? Make it rejuvenate. Just give her an experience that makes her feel something, and she'll remember it, okay? As long as it's a positive emotion. That's, that, that's, that's the or You don't want to make her feel a negative emotion, like bored, um, you know? Anger, that's, that's questionable. Um, but, like, don't put her in a situation where she's uncomfortable, right? Don't put her in a situation where she feels super, 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 like, self-conscious and insecure, bro. Like, you know, you got to know how to work that, bro, because you don't want to put your woman down, bro. You don't want to make her feel like shit, like, to get her to fall in love with you. There's certain ways that you can keep her in check. There's certain things you can do and say to let her know that, hey, you know, you're not just a sweet, nice motherfucker who just compliments her all the time. Like you can, you can. Join